you black male coaches, you are the slave drivers for the athletic plantation in America. Slave drivers. You know you got boys on your team who failing and you still letting them play. You know you got boys on your team who barely go to school and you still letting them play. And you give Dr. Umar the excuse, well, Doc, if he makes it, he'll be a millionaire. Doc, if he makes it, he'll be a millionaire. Dr. Umar, if he makes it, he'll be a millionaire. I understand. I understand. I understand. But what about if he don't make it? Patani, you a damn get off my live. Got an African name and you fighting back against black men being responsible, you damn Get your ass off my live, you Black fathers, black coaches, how dare you? Pan-Africanism yesterday, Pan-Africanism today, Pan-Africanism tomorrow, Pan-Africanism by any means necessary. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to talk about two things right now. One is I'm going to talk about a lot of Africans taking their own lives. We got to deal with this. We got to deal with this. The other thing we got to deal with is black fathers not caring enough about their son's academics. Let me talk to black men. Black men, I'm very disappointed in us. Black fathers, I'm very disappointed in us. Why do I not see black fathers at back to school night? Why do I not see black fathers at suspension conferences? Why do I not see black fathers during midweek report? Why do I not see black fathers stopping by doing drive-bys on their sons? And I don't want to hear the mother don't let you. I don't want to hear that. Because you can go to family court and get shared legal custody over educational and medical decisions. You can go to family court and get shared legal custody over medical and educational decisions so I don't want no excuses to my black men. Now my black men who are on your job, I'm not talking to you. My black men who are on your job, my black fathers who are doing what you're supposed to do, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the black fathers. Whether you live in America, Canada, Toronto, I don't care if you in the UK, Caribbean, Central South America, this is a global problem. This is a global problem. I'm not seeing enough black men involved in their son's academics. And I don't want to hear the excuse. I don't want to hear the excuse that the mothers are not letting you. And the reason I don't want to hear the excuse, the reason I don't want to hear the excuse that mothers are not letting you is because you have no problem getting to football practice every day. You have no problem getting to your son's football practice. You have no problem getting to your son's football games. You have no problems getting to your son's basketball games. You have no problems getting to your son's basketball practice. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Go to a football game, black fathers all over the place. Go to a basketball game, black fathers are all over the place. Go to a track meet, black fathers are all over the place. But then when it's time to go to report card conference, you missing in action. It's time for suspension conference, you missing in action. It's time for a child study team meeting, you missing in action. It's time for an IEP meeting, you're missing in action. It's time for a report card conference, you're missing in action. If you don't understand what I'm saying right now, if you don't understand what I'm saying right now, I want you to go to the next Little League football game in your neighborhood tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. I want you to go to the next Little League football game in your neighborhood. Look at all the black men cheering their sons on. Look at all the black men cheering other black boys in the neighborhood on who are not their sons. And then go into the schools on report card night. Go into the schools on back to school night. Go into the schools during suspension reinstatement meeting. Go into the school during the IEP meeting. Where are the black fathers? Black men, we are failing our boys. Black men, we are failing our boys. Black men, we are failing our boys because we are showing them that we only care about sports. We don't care about academics. 
We only care about sports. We don't care about academics. And don't let me talk about these Negro coaches out here. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to you coaches. Don't let me get on these slave driving Negro coaches. You are the slave drivers for the athletic plantation of America. You black male coaches, you are the slave drivers for the athletic plantation in America. Slave drivers. You know you got boys on your team who failing and you still letting them play. You know you got boys on your team who barely go to school and you still letting them play. And you give Dr. Umar the excuse, well, Doc, if he makes it, he'll be a millionaire. Doc, if he makes it, he'll be a millionaire. Dr. Umar, if he makes it, he'll be a millionaire. I understand. I understand. I understand. But what about if he don't make it? Patani, you a goddamn get off my live. Got an African name and you fighting back against black men being responsible, you damn Get your ass off my live, you Black fathers, black coaches, how dare you? Black coaches, how dare you have a student on your team who's failing a class, especially the neighborhood leagues. In many of the school leagues, they can only fail two subjects, and they wouldn't be on my team if they failing one subject. In many school districts, they allowed to fail two subjects, but if they was on my team, they couldn't fail one subject. So at least in the school district, they have some control. At least in the school district, they have some control. But these neighborhood football leagues, these neighborhood basketball leagues, y'all don't care how many classes they fail. Y'all don't care when's the last time they went to school. Y'all don't care if the special ed team is failing them. Y'all don't care if the IEP is not appropriate. All you care is about wins and losses on the football field, basketball field. Let's call it what it is, plantation. 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 All y'all care about wins and losses on the plantation. The football plantation, the basketball plantation, because y'all get kickbacks, y'all get set-asides, and y'all get certain perks by helping the colleges and the junior colleges and the prep schools find the most talented athletes. Don't nobody care about whether or not they finish their work. Nobody cares about whether or not they're passing their classes. No one cares about that. We only care about wins and losses on a football field and basketball court. But what happens when they lose in life? Mr. Father and Mr. Coach. What happens when they lose in life? What happens when they don't make anything out of themselves because you let them believe that they were so great? You Instagram just shut me down for telling black fathers to step up. Can y'all believe this? Brothers and sisters, can y'all believe this? Instagram just shut me down for telling black fathers to step up. I didn't discuss Neanderthal Nation. I didn't discuss Rainbow Nation. I didn't discuss Untouchable Nation. Instagram just shut me down for telling black fathers to step up. Can y'all believe that, brothers and sisters? They said they removed my content. Can y'all believe that? Instagram just shut me down for telling black fathers to go to the IEP meeting. Instagram just shut me down for telling black fathers to go to report card conferences. Instagram just shut me down for telling black fathers to go to back to school night. Instagram just shut me down for telling black coaches that there's more to the black boy's future than basketball and football. Can y'all believe this, brothers and sisters? I got to find a new platform. I got to find a new platform. I got to find a new platform. Instagram shut me down for telling black fathers to go to schools and not just basketball games. Instagram shut me down for telling black fathers to go to IEP meetings, not just football games. Can y'all believe this, brothers and sisters? Can y'all believe this, brothers and sisters? Can y'all believe this? I got shut down for telling fathers to be in their son's lives. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. 
This is absolutely ridiculous. And now they're not letting me do no tap-ins. Let's talk about black. They might shut me down for that too. Too many Africans are taking their own lives, boys, girls, men, women, and elders. Too many Africans are taking their own lives, boys, girls, men, women, and elders. Too many Africans are taking their own lives, boys, girls, men, women, and elders. I want to say this to you. If you're going through some rough times in your life, as we all do as Africans living in this most racist society, if you're going through some tough patches in your life, as we all do as Africans going through this most racist society, I want to give you a couple steps from Ifa Tunde, the therapist, a couple steps from Ifa Tunde, the doctor of clinical psychology, a couple steps from Ifa Tunde, the certified school psychologist. I'm going to give you a couple steps for my Africans out there. My Africans out there, okay, I need you to understand something. There's a couple things I need you to understand. Challenges are put in your life on purpose. Some of them come from your own karma. Some of them come from supreme consciousness. Let me say this again. Challenges are put in your life on purpose. If you're thinking about harming yourself, you're thinking about cutting yourself, you're thinking about overdosing, you're thinking about taking it to the bridge, whatever you're thinking about, I need you to think twice. I need you to understand something. There would be no need for you to come to earth. There would have been no need for your ancestors to send you here. There would have been no need for God to give you a destiny on this planet if it was supposed to be easy. Life is not supposed to be easy all the time. It's not supposed to be hard all the time, but it's not supposed to be easy all the time as well. The challenges that come to you, some of them are self-imposed. Some of them come from your own karmic debts that you need to pay from this life or previous life, understand, just because you cannot remember your previous life doesn't mean you're not obligated to the mistakes you made in it. Just because you cannot remember your previous life doesn't mean you're not obligated to the mistakes that you made in it. Just because you cannot remember your previous lives or life doesn't mean you're not obligated to the mistakes that you made in it. Number two, God imposes. The universe imposes certain challenges in your life because they are there to challenge you so you can become what you need to be in order to fulfill your destiny. Do you understand, overstand, and understand? Do you understand, overstand, and understand? Do you understand, overstand, or understand? Challenges are brought to you by the Almighty from the divine design so that you can realize who you are in football practice your coach challenges you so you can become the best you can when you pledge in a fraternity or sorority they challenge you they put you through tests not every test is a punishment not every test is a curse that's the way you see it Life is not supposed to be all fun and joy. Life is meant to challenge you. It's the only way your spirit can develop. It's the only way your spirit can evolve. Stop checking out of here because you think you're being punished. Stop checking out of here because you think you're being cursed. In Ifa, we say. In Yoruba culture, we say. In African culture, we say, I embrace the positive and negative aspects of my destiny. I embrace the positive and negative aspects of my destiny. I embrace the positive and negative aspects of my destiny because I understand that the good and the bad in my life are ultimately there towards helping me realize my destiny and completing my purpose. Do not kill yourself. When you yourself you violate a sacred contract you made with the almighty would you rather put up with this hell or whether you put up with the hell on the other side that you're going to have to deal with because you canceled a contract on the almighty do you really want to cancel a contract your soul made with god do you really want to can cancel a contract that your soul made with god put that down Put them pills down. Put that 
down. Put that bottle down. Do you really want to cancel a contract that you made in heaven with supreme consciousness? I don't want to suffer that karma. I do not want to suffer the karmic debts that will come to me in my next life because I canceled a contract with God in this life. Is the cancelization of a divine contract. Peace and love, God. Is the canceling of a contract you made with the Almighty. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you need to talk to somebody, you can call me up. Go to the church. Sometimes they're good for that. Go to the masjid. Sometimes they're good for that. Get you a therapist. Get you a counselor. Get you a social worker. Talk to a friend. Don't cancel out. Go to the water and talk to your ancestors. This is why all Africans need an ancestral altar. This is why all Africans need an ancestral altar. This is why all Africans need an ancestral altar. We don't worship our ancestors. We honor our ancestors. We don't worship our ancestors. We communicate with our ancestors. We don't worship our ancestors. We venerate our ancestors. A lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you are struggling with because you're suffocating your ancestors from communicating with you. I said you are suffocating your ancestors from communicating with you. I said you are suffocating your ancestors from communicating with you. You think the Bible is enough? I'm not here to convince you it's not. You think the Bible is enough? I'm not here to convince you it's not. You think the Quran is enough? I'm not here to convince you that it's not. I'm simply saying that in the ancient spiritual technology of African people, I'm simply saying that in the ancient spiritual technology of African people, I'm simply saying in the ancient spiritual technology of African people, we understand that our ancestors are our angels and we call on them to help us. Do not take your life. Do not cancel your contract with the almighty. Those challenges that you are going through were put there to help you maximize your divine self. Those challenges you're going through were put there to help you realize the God that is within you. Understand that the power within you is greater than anything outside of you. Understand that within you is the power to overcome any challenge, any obstacle. Look what our ancestors went through. Look what our ancestors went through. 246 years in America, 400 plus years overall, and they didn't take their own lives. They fought to the death. They fought against the evil spirits telling them to take their life, and they fought against the wicked spirits that enslaved African people. I said they fought against the evil spirits that whispered in their ear to take their life, and they fought against the white supremacy spirits that tried to suffocate their life. You don't need that. I'm gonna tell you something else. People who are have poor emotional control. You need to get control over how quickly you exaggerate the extent of your problems. Africans tend to exaggerate their problems more. You don't put them in the proper perspective. Stop traumatizing every situation in your life. Stop traumatizing. You lost your job. I understand that would hurt me too to lose my job, but it's not the end of your world. Stop traumatizing. Stop catastrophizing. Black women, y'all used to never commit. Look at you now. My beautiful African sisters, y'all had the lowest rate in American history. Look at you now because you turned in spirituality for BBLs. You turned in spirituality for BBLs. You turned in a relationship with the almighty for breast implants. Black women turn in meditation for weaves and perms. Now you're yourself. Soon when your boyfriend leave you for another woman, you want to yourself. Come on, black woman. You are the. 
You are the divine manifestation of supreme consciousness. Come on, black woman. You are the divine manifestation of supreme consciousness. Black men, stop taking your black brother. I don't care what you've been through. You've been mal That is bad. That is horrible. The worst thing you can do to a child is take their innocence. The worst thing you can do to a child is take their innocence. The worst thing you can do to a child is take their innocence. But it ain't the end of the world, black man. It ain't the end of the world. Look how our grandmothers were on the slave plantation. Look at how our mothers were on the slave plantation. Look at how our aunties and cousins were on the slave plantation, but they kept on going. Because they knew we needed them. They kept on going. It's spiritual selfishness because you denying your children the benefit of having you. It's spiritual selfishness. You are denying your mother and father the benefit of your care. It's spiritual selfishness. You are denying the black community the benefit of your knowledge and your wisdom and your support. I said it's spiritual selfishness. Don't do it. Hold on, be strong. Don't do it, black woman. Hold on, be strong. Don't do it, black man. Hold on, be strong. Because one thing I want y'all to understand. When this school right here opens up in a few months. When this school right here opens up in a few months. When this beautiful school that God blessed us with and the ancestors helped us with opens up in a few months. We're going to have support. We're going to have chemical addiction support. We're going to have single mother, single father support. We're going to have activities for our elders. Hold on, be strong. FDMG, heaven on earth is coming. I said, hold on, be strong. FDMG, heaven on earth is coming. When this beautiful school that you all gave us the money to purchase is ready to go. When this beautiful school that you all gave us the money to renovate is ready to go, I promise you, this will be heaven on earth. The Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy will be your heaven on earth for all African people. Oh, yes. Pan-Africanists gave birth to the social work profession. We gave birth to the self-help profession. And we're going to go back to the social work profession. And we're going to go back to the self-help profession. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. Am I my sister's keeper? Yes, I am. Am I my children's keeper? Yes, I am. Am I my elder's keeper? Oh, yes, I am. Don't give up, Africans. Hold on. Be strong. Black men, let's help each other. Let's stop competing over women. Let's stop competing over bling bling. Let's stop competing over merchandise and let's get back to oneness, Ubuntu. Let's get back to Ubuntu. Let's get back to I am because I am. I am because we are. Let's get back to I and I, you and me. Not unity, but inity. Let's get back to not unity, but inity. You are me and I am you. When you hurt, I hurt. Whenever a black person takes their life, the black community has failed itself. Whenever an African commits, a little piece of the African family dies. When we take our life in the UK, when we take our life in Africa, when we take our life in South America, when we take our life in Central America, when we take our life in Canada, when we take our life in California, when we take our life in Jamaica, in Haiti, in Panama, when we take our life in Mississippi, in Texas, in Pennsylvania, a little piece of the global African family dies. No African should be so distressed. No African should be so desperate that they have to consider taking their own life. The only times we took our own life was in revolutionary warfare. The only time we took our own lives was in revolutionary warfare. We don't take our lives because life is too much, brothers and sisters. Our ancestors did too much for us to be here. For us to cancel our contract with the almighty creator. Don't you take your life. Stop worrying about yourself so much. That's another problem with Africans. Stop worrying about yourself. Get outside and help somebody. Get outside and help somebody. One of the best remedies for ideation is community charity. One of the best 
remedies for ideation is community charity. One of the best remedies for ideation is community charity. Go and volunteer at the old folks home. Go and help somebody with a disability. Go and join a children's organization and help out with the babies. Go do something positive. Get your mind off your problems. You Africans, you spending too much time thinking about yourself. It ain't all about you. What is your purpose? Have you found it? What is your destiny? Have you found it? What is your movement? Have you found it? You got to get down to the MDPs. You got to get down to the MDPs. Mission, destiny, and purpose. Get down to the MDP. Your mission, your destiny, and your purpose. I don't want to hear about you losing your job. Maybe that wasn't the job for you. Did you figure that out? I don't want to hear about your husband left you. Maybe that wasn't the man for you. Did you figure that out? You lost your mortgage. I don't want to hear about that. Maybe that house was too expensive for you. See, one of the problems with our egos, one of the problems with our African egos is we like to interpret God's plans from a human perspective. You can't do that. As powerful as the human mind is, you cannot interpret divine design from your limited perspective. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism talking to you. If you are learning anything right now, make sure you hit the cash app so we can finish this beautiful school, dollar sign FDMG school. If this is making sense to you, make sure you hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG S-C-H-O-O-L in all capitals. International Africans, hit your PayPal at paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. International Africans, hit your PayPal at paypal.me slash FDMG A-C-A-D-E-M-Y. Stop trying to do God's job for God. You wasn't sent here to do God's job for God. The Almighty didn't send you here to be his tutor. The Almighty didn't send you here to be his mentor. The Almighty didn't send you here to tell him whether or not he's doing right or wrong. You can interpret God's consciousness. Your human consciousness isn't great enough to comprehend the great incomprehensible, brothers and sisters. Your job is to survive this life as best you can. Fulfill your mission, your purpose, and your destiny, your MPDs, as best you can. Get on the track and get on the revolutionary track. A lot of you don't have a purpose. All right, now. Excuse me, I have an interruption. We have a visitor. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How's everything? All right. All right. 